Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to MH Optical's YouTube page. My name's Jeff, and today we're diving into part three of our lens surfacing series, where we discuss lens pick as well as lens compute. If you're just joining us for this series, in the last part we talked about the difference between a stock lens and a surface lens. Now that we understand that our lens that we need needs to be surface, let's dive into what it takes to pick and compute the lens. So lens pick and lens compute. This is the start of the actual surfacing process. In order to get the job into the lab, we need to A, pick a lens and B, compute the job. So to start, we need to pick the appropriate semi-finish or puck that we're going to use as the base to start the job. This is a semi-finished lens. They come in many different types. There's about four different types that we use here at the lab. Single vision, standard progressive, a line bifocal such as flat top 28 or an executive, as well as hybrid progressive such as a camber or maybe the X-Design series from Essilor. Within those different types of pucks or semi-finished lenses comes the different indexes or materials from plastic, poly, trivex, high index such as 174, they all come in these different types of lenses. Within those different types of lenses as well as material come the different treatments or add-ons that come associated with those semi-finished blanks. Things like polarization, pretints, photochromic, blue filter, and so on. So one of these many different types of semi-finished blanks are going to make up our finished lens at the end of the process. So to start the surfacing process, we have to compute the job. We have to get it into our lab management software in order to start it and put it into the lab. The first step of that is to understand what kind of lens we're gonna give. Is it an uncut lens? Is it an edge lens? Are we supplying the frame? When we start putting the job into the LMS system, we're first gonna put the material of the lens, the type of lens that it's going to be, as well as the treatment, such as photochromic, clear, scratch-coated, whatever it may be. After we put the prescription into the LMS system, the LMS system is going to calculate or compute the job. It's going to figure out what kind of base curve that we need in order to get the best possible surface on the backside of the lens. Not only is it going to pick the best possible base curve, it's also going to choose the right type of lens and tell us what to pick. Are we picking a line bifocal off the shelf? Are we picking a photochromic lens or a blue filter lens? This is where it all comes together because we told in the beginning what kind of lens and what kind of treatment that the lens is going to have so we can pick accordingly. Once the computer picks an appropriate semi-finished blank, we will then pick what we call the work ticket or side paper. This is going to have everything from the tray number, uh, anything that the lab needs needs to know. A lot of it's automated, however, we do need to take a look. Some things like special instructions will be on here and other things that we'll get into when we go into different parts into the lab that we can show you on, that's on the side paper. Now lens compute is very straightforward. All we do is put the RX, we put the lens, we put the material into the computer and it will pick the blank for us. Now computing a job is very simple. We put the RX, we put the information such as lens material into the computer, it picks a blank for us and then we throw it into the lab. Now there may be some variations that we need to watch out for. If our frame has a wrap, we need to make sure we tell the lab that we need a special base curve. Do we need a real high base curve such as a seven or an eight to get it into that frame? We also need to make sure we give the lab accurate frame measurements when we place our orders. This is the only way we're gonna get the correct cutout and accurate lens for that specific job. When ordering, we also need to make sure we tell the lab, is the lens gonna be a tinted? Because we need to pick a different type of blank in order to have that lens tintable. Also, we need to make sure we tell our labs at this point, is it going to be a safety thickness frame? We need to make sure that so we can compute a safety thickness on that lens. This is also the time you have to tell them the type of frame. Is it going to be a rimless frame? Is it going to be a metal frame or a plastic frame? All these types of frame variations will depend on the lens outcome. Once we know that job's good to go, we'll then take our side paper, pick our lenses, put the side paper and the lenses into the tray, bring it over to our computer. We then scan and verify the lenses are good for that job. We'll then unbox them and put them into the lab for the next step, taping and blocking. Make sure you guys stick around for part four where we discuss taping and blocking a lens. We'll dive deep into the process as well as the different variations you can have when blocking a lens. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer anything that I can. Like the video, subscribe to the cha channel. Also check us out on Facebook as well as Instagram. We post a lot of content there as well as check out our website, mhoptical.com. We post a monthly blog there that you can check out. Really informative. Thanks for watching and have a great day.